at first sight, you, you would expect that if you were fishing on the Kent coast, or if you were fishing up in Northumberland, you would expect everything, uh, different species, etc., to be different. But we all, these rigs, you know, they've got one thing in common. They're going to be anchored to the bottom by a five or six ounce lead weight. That is the finest trap swivel and bead arrangement it's possible to have. It's absolutely nothing can go wrong. It won't tangle, casts well, presents the bait, strong, safe, adjustable on the unistops. As the tide ease, you can push your snoods so they're further up the line, away from the lead. In a strong tide, you can press them down so they're fishing closer to the weight and there's absolutely no damage to the monofill. That's the way to do it. Well, under the serious pressure of a long distance cast, you'll see what happens. What will happen, the trace and leader will stretch. You will watch the clip move. Now, if the clip didn't move, the hook snud would snap in the cast. This is why there has to be movement in the system. And this is, with this initial long distance trace, watch what happens. When you stretch, the trace is pulled up to the stop. There are, some, there are some aspects of shore angling where we're baiting up with delicate worms, small white rag, um, wrigglers or more popularly called maddies, where you need a hook that is as absolutely unobtrusive when you penetrate the bait as is possible to be. And I'm going to show you a long lost art and we're going to capture it on film for the first time. And what it is, it's going to be how to whip hooks to nylon. Now years ago, you would be able to buy hooks that didn't have an eye, didn't have a spade, but had a tapered shank. Well, those days are gone, unfortunately. But what I'm going to show you now is how to make the best of it and how to actually whip a hook to nylon to give you the finest bait presentation possible. And what we're going to do, we select the hook. This is Mustad Treble 46B. I can bait up. Then I can slide the stop down on top of the bait. Now, when you're actually fishing, sand and grit won't get inside that and it won't suddenly seize so it can't be moved. It's stiff, it's rigid and it won't be blown back up the snud by a powerful cast.